Good morning and welcome to Gloucester. So this is tips for high handicappers. If you're a high handicapper, there's a number of holes where you get two shots on. So you don't have to get on the green in two shots, you could get on the green in four. That's your handicap. But if you've got four shots to get on the green, I'm gonna try and show you a way of getting on the green in just three for your net birdie. So let's go look at the, uh, the low index holes. So the gist of this video is very simple. If you're a high handicap and you get two shots per hole, and your swing mechanics are obviously poor and unreliable, why are you taking driver and trying to get on in par rather than your own par? This is a wide fairway, so we'll start with a hybrid. It's a fairly risk-free club. We've got bunkers to avoid, so let's avoid them. Why pull out your three wood here and attempt to get it on the green? It can only end in tears. All we're trying to do is to get on the green one stroke less than our handicap allows us. So if you've got four shots to get onto a green, all right, I've come up a little bit short, so I'm gonna have a little chip. You might want to have a little putt, whatever. Nice. But if you've got four shots to get onto a green, I'm absolutely certain you can do nice. it in three. And tuck away a net birdie. I'm going with five wood here. I feel a bit more comfortable now I've got away from the clubhouse. Because I've never done this before, five would prove too much. So the plan was get it in the fairway short of the two bunkers, knock it down towards the green, short of the green side bunkers, a long chip and run onto the green, two putts and another net birdie. But obviously because I've never done it before, I've gone in the bunker and I've wasted a shot. Don't really want anything to do with those two bunkers there and a very, very smelly back flag. So all I've chosen to do is to put it on the front. And because we've had so much rain, I couldn't get the ball to the hole. But either way, even though this is a miss, we've played it to our two shots over the par. Now we go on to four. This is stroke index one. They even give me a shot here. Water down the left. Let's play away from it. So a six iron. A very simple club to hit. Short shaft, plenty of loft. I don't want to reach the ditch across the fairway. So seven iron. And that'll leave me a wedge. Don't want anything to do with these front bunkers, so I've got plenty of club to put it into the middle of the green. Now at stroke one, anyone from a 19 handicap and above gets two shots here. Is there anybody who'd like to put in the comments a decent reason why someone with two shots can't play this hole exactly the way I've played it for a five, Another net, net three. Longest club hit, six iron. The tenth. Used to be stroke two, it's now gone out to stroke ten. Not entirely sure why. Hybrid off the tee. We're well into our round of golf now, we're loose. We should be able to hit a reasonable hybrid. And with two shots, we're looking to get on this green in four shots, or rather, three. And even fatting the nine iron and leaving it a long way back hasn't compromised that aim. I'm left with 83 
down the slight wind above the height of the green so it's a sand wedge we're on in three we're on in one under our handicap if you've got two shots now we've got two putts for a net birdie and it was almost one that would have been a nice four pointer in a competition and the driver never came out of the bag talking of which here we are on 12 the outer bounds is that line of trees on the right so what on earth are people with two shots doing with a driver in their hand I'm going six and I'm hitting it safely in land away from the outer bounds you notice I tee up on the right and aim away from the crap can't reach the green and I'm gonna stay well left again a long way left seven iron I've got six iron seven iron that leaves us a shot straight down the green and this is a shot I think all high handicappers can play you might choose an eight iron you might choose a seven iron but it's basically a long bump and run it's a longer version of a greenside bump and run just slipped off the left edge of the green now we've got two putts and that's another net birdie in the bag and this is how you improve this is how you improve your handicap when you've got double shots everywhere it's quite simply taking only one shot extra not two Off to 14, a par 5. Two shots, we can get on this green in 5. And we've played to a handicap. Now I know some people will say, I can't hit 5 iron. Okay, if you can't hit 5 iron onto this fairway, why are you taking a driver? I'm going to go a little bit extreme safe here. So it's a 7 iron ever so slight tug so it's just finished off the fairway don't want anything to do with those front bunkers this is a 9 iron out of the thick stuff it probably isn't going to go very far and it hasn't so we're going to get on in 4 which is 1 under your 2 strokes I'm certain you can play this hole better than I've done without ever pulling the driver out of the bag. Oh, I forgot now that the greens are slow and this came up way short. But I'm absolutely certain if you've got two strokes you can get on in one under that par and two putt for a net birdie. Someone must have got pissed off with a putt because they've taken a divot out right next to the hole. Right. Yeah. Well, that's that done. A short video today. Um, I think I've demonstrated adequately that when you're a very high handicapper and you're struggling with all the long clubs in your bag, that there are different options. So you can keep making a score not losing golf balls, not going out of bounds while you improve your long game. That's what it's all about, see. You don't have to go out and do exactly what I've just shown you. But there are options, aren't there? The problem is, is ego. You're a bunch of 25 year old guys. You all rock up on the first tee. They've got their drivers out. Are you pulling out your 5-iron? Probably not. You're going to get your driver out. The hardest thing on the planet is to get the driver out of a young man's hand. Old guys understand it. Younger guys, not so much. So it's a bit of a sad video, really, because around about 500 people will watch it on its release date maybe over a couple of years 1500 people will watch it and less than 10 people will actually go out on their golf course and do something different 
which is a shame, but it's their golf game, not mine. All I can do is hopefully make people think about what they are doing. As it happens on that first hole where I hit the hybrid, I made a five. The two young men I was playing with, who shall remain nameless, both made a six. And they took driver. Right, you may be wondering why I'm stuck on one video a week and not my usual two. And the answer is very simply 11 weeks of rain. You know, I'm trying to improve my own game, have lessons, practice, play, then take part in competitions. I'm trying to help my sons and I'm trying to make videos for YouTube. And without dry weather, you can't fit all of those things in. So I'm getting out there and managing one video a week. The long range forecast, let me see, what is it today? It's Monday the, Monday the 8th of May. The long range forecast for the next two weeks is 12 days of rain, two days of dry. How the hell am I supposed to keep this channel going when the weather won't let me? So you're gonna have to bear with me. You know, I'm stringing the videos out and not making the stuff that I want to make. I think this could be my hardest year on YouTube, to be honest. Right, I'm planning my first away day. Um, don't know when it's going to be. I'm not going out there in the rain. I need some bloody dry weather, as I'm sure you all need some dry weather to actually play golf. I have no idea what the next video is going to be about. I don't even know when I'm going to make the next video. But I've got two weeks to make a single video. And, you know, I, I could quit this. 11 weeks of rain so far. We've got another two weeks of rain coming up. It probably isn't going to change. I'm getting so fed up that I could just go, sod it, I'm going to sell all my gear and quit YouTube. Waste of time. Ah, oh dear. See you in the next one, whatever the next one might be. Ta-ra.